Tonight, we saw a world premiere of a new symphony at West Palm Beach's Kravis Center to honor Gil Moore, a beloved member of the Hearst family and the Palm Beach community. And Gil was right there in front to take it all in. Through his philanthropy, Gil Moore and his late wife Anne have long championed the arts here. And Gil is not done yet. The symphony by Pulitzer Prize winning composer Ellen Tapey Zoe was performed by the Palm Beach Symphony. It was commissioned as a gift from Mr. Moore by former U.S. Ambassador to Finland, Bonnie McElveen Hunter. Mr. Moore's friends, family, admirers honored him first with a luncheon at the Everglades Club on Palm Beach today, and then tonight's beautiful concert. Brand new symphony by Ellen Zwillick in honor of an extraordinary man that is, I think, one of the most beloved people, not just in Palm Beach, but on the planet, who has accomplished so many things. I cannot imagine an honor higher than having a symphony named after you. <laughs> and I cannot imagine a man who deserves it more. Mm -hmm. He also had a key role in the design of the Hearst Tower, New York. The former chief operating officer of Hearst, our parent company, also an accomplished painter and published author, Renaissance man, man about town. Mr. Moore led the fundraising and selection of the architect Lord Norman Foster for the now completed New Nort Museum of Art in downtown West Palm Beach, and we were so glad to be there. We were honored to be there. He is just such a visionary, such an incredible human being, and you saw the smile on his face when he was surrounded by close friends and family. He likes his friends a lot, and his friends love him even more. Yep.